the first thing we're going to talk about is integers. When you're adding integers, two things can occur. When the signs are the same, you're going to add the numbers and keep the same sign. So negative 12 plus negative 13 means you're going to add your numbers to get 25, and since they're both negative, our answer is negative. When the signs are different, you're going to find the difference of the absolute values. Then take the sign of the number with the higher absolute value. So the absolute value of negative 19 would be 19. The absolute value of 8 would be 8. So you're going to subtract those two numbers to get 11. And this one has the higher absolute value, so you're going to take the negative sign. So negative 19 plus 8 is negative 11. Subtraction we want to change to adding the opposite. Then follow the rules for addition. So negative 22 minus 7 can be rewritten as negative 22 plus a negative 7. Our first number stays the same. We change our subtraction to addition and we take the opposite of a positive 7, which is a negative 7. Now, since the signs are the same and we're adding, we add them together and we get negative 29. Negative 14 minus negative 10 is the same thing as negative 14, change the subtraction to addition, and the opposite of negative 10 is a positive 10. So now we're adding, the signs are different, we're going to find the difference. So the difference between 14 and 10 is 4, and the negative 14 that has the higher absolute value, so our answer is negative. When multiplying and dividing, if we have two integers with the same sign, whether it's a positive and a positive or a negative and a negative, it gives you a positive answer. If you have different signs, it gives you a negative answer. So negative 8 times negative 9, they have the same sign, so that's going to be a positive 72. 70 divided by negative 10, they have different signs, so the answer is negative 7.